Hey everyone, Brian Albert from IGN here with Tate Phoebing. What's up? What's up? Hey, we are playing Longbow because we're ranking every single Halo map that exists. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, we're gonna we're gonna walk through this map and then just kind of tell me some things you liked about this map. Uh, maybe some cool areas to go, uh, cool memories from it. Yeah, you actually already picked up the rockets, but one of the things that always stood out about this map to me was kind of the race for the rockets at the beginning and then jumping through the teleport to basically have a battle with the guy doing the same thing on the other end. Right, yeah, The we bring this up in a lot of these Let's Plays. The race to the power weapons is a thing that's kind of unique to Halo. It's not in a lot of other games, uh, at least sort of modern games. Um, so it's kind of cool because you might be tempted to kind of hold up and play defensively, but because there are weapons out there, you're forced to like run out and, and take initiative. Yeah, this I, I mean, the sniper and the rockets always, I call it snipe, I call rockets, and then... Um, as if you're not playing with your friends, you usually get a nice battle with your teammates over uh, someone <laughs> trying to what? kill you if you stole their sniper. Oh, uh, that's awful. Um, yeah, one thing I really enjoyed about this map is there always seemed to be sort of an action on this, I guess I'd call it the outskirts of the map, like this path out here in these side buildings. Uh, and that was like its own little fight. But then there was also something always going on up. Let me Let me get up there. I just played a little bit of Reach, so I was trying to jetpack up. And I was like, nope, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, right up here. Yeah. By the Spartan Laser. One, the, the game type that always kind of stood out to me on this map, like, it, it was always in Big Team Slayer, but uh, King of the Hill was really great on this. And Interesting. the battle for this base was, I can see that. was it incredible. Was it a moving hill, or did it stay up here? Uh, the ones I remember were the moving hill. Um because I can see this is an excellent King of the Hill spot right here. I never played King of the Hill on this map. I prefer, like, CTF or just Team Slayer. Yeah, it's, like, in this base, there's, like, always a shotgun battle in the base. Um, you get these, like, corners to bank grenades off of. Right, right. And it becomes pretty hard to take. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that was what stood out to me is the kind of territory-based game types. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, uh... Like I said, I tried to do a lot of Slayer myself, so I kind of... This is my domain out here, everything I'm aiming at. I would I would kind of peek around. I think you can even run behind, like, this rock formation and uh, kind of pick people off with snipers or, like, a... a D, uh, not the DMR. The battle rifle. Yeah. In, um, in some game types on this map, and I actually found this area to be, like, very underutilized, but kind of, like, to your right, Over back here? behind the buildings... Um, on the other side of this, there was like there's a wraith spawn that I actually didn't know about for oh. a good portion of time when I played like down this path to the left. That's kind that of important. Kind of, maybe um, maybe not in this mode or whatever, but there's a wraith back here. Yeah, I think in uh, CTF games it was, and then you could just like rain shots um, into the base. Yeah, okay, so you could there's of, the rail gun. So you could kind of like lay down some siege while your teammates are are like moving in. Yep. Or okay. it might have been right behind that what base is, up there. I don't know if I've been back here. Yeah, this this area was, like, never used, really. I mean, I've been in these buildings, and I knew you could walk, like, up there, but I don't think I've stepped in this part before. Huh. All right. <laughs> Learning new things. How many how many years after this game? Uh, any other big memories or spots? Just said about wrap it up for you. Uh, no, I mean, this, this was purely a power weapon map. Um, it's all about rocket snipe i'm sure you could say that about every map but just the constant br duels up and down these paths like i remember this ramp always specifically uh, because some people would get you know a spartan laser some power weapons and they'd be right there and a lot of times you spawn down in, in this base yep and i remember this fight on this ramp was always a struggle just yeah. trying to get up here and take control of this the spawn sniping was kind of glorious on this map were you one of those? Oh, always. Oh, I hated that. I hated um, those people. And actually, the the little caves were really underutilized. Like oh, right over here? Yeah, there's one on each side. And occasionally, like, you could, if you crouched through it, if you had the patience, you could always kind of get jump on the guy who had oh, the Oh, yeah, because he wouldn't show up on the radar. Yeah. Yeah, I, this is a good way up. It, it, it's cramped, though, so if you if you got cut out or spotted, you're, you're kind of fodder for grenades. But if you if yep. you go slow and take your time, you can usually get the drop. And that is Longbow for Halo 4. One of the best maps in that game, for sure. Super Six. fun. We're ranking every single Halo map uh, tomorrow. We're going to have another batch of, of 25, and then that's going to lead up to our top 10. And each of those has its own video, so please watch those. And uh, let us know if you disagree, because I think, I think some of you might. Something's telling me that. <laughs> Probably.
Thanks, Tate, for stopping by. Yeah, no uh, for more on everything Halo, keep it right here on IGN.